four months ago, I made a decision that I'm going to switch camera. Now, just a week ago, that happened. So it took me a long time to make my mind up which camera I was gonna to switch to. It's actually quite a sad time because I've had to leave behind this camera which I've really grown very attached to over the last two and a half years. Now this camera does not have all the bows and whistles. It doesn't have the new technology which you have in a lot of the newer cameras. But for me, it was brilliant. And it was brilliant because it did everything that I needed it to. So it took good photos, it had access to a wide range of affordable lenses, and also it was really good for video. And because of this, it was everything I needed. But then four months previous, I decided that there was a few things which I wouldn't be able to get from this camera. So I would have to make the switch to another camera instead. And that's what's happened. So it was actually quite sad leaving this camera, or should I say selling the camera, because now the camera at this point will be with its new owner. It's quite funny how you can grow attached to an inanimate object which you project these feelings onto of all these wonderful times that you've experienced taking pictures in different locations, different places. And yeah, it is, it's sad because you know that, you know, it, you're leaving this behind or you're letting it go. So I'm just hoping that the person who now has this camera will enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed it. But this leads me on to today, which I'm going to share with you all the camera system which I've decided to switch to. And this was a tricky decision for me. As you can tell, it took me nearly four months to make this decision. And unfortunately, this camera's had a lot of bad press because I would say that it's had probably some of the worst press of any camera in the year 2019. But probably one of the most hated cameras this year. And I think that it's, in some ways I can understand why this has happened, but in other ways I think it's had a real tough time. So the reason I decided to move over to this camera, which I'm gonna share with you in just a moment, is because it's a full frame camera. I wanted to switch from a crop sensor, which the Canon 80D was, up to full frame for a few reasons. I wanted accent, access to better lenses and that really nice glass where you can just get incredibly sharp and beautiful images, which I did have access to with the Canon 80D, even though it's crop sensor, I could shoot with these lenses, but then your focal, focal distances and focal lengths are different. And obviously when you're using it with the camera that it should be used with, like a full frame camera, then you just get better results. So that was the first reason that he switched. The second reason is weight. I wanted to get rid of some of the weight which I had in my setup before. So with the Canon 80D, I was carrying around six lenses, which I really didn't need to carry around and I didn't need to be using. And plus a rather heavy DSLR with all the other equipment which comes along with landscape photography. So I was really eager to go into a more lightweight system and leave that behind. Also take those six lenses which I had and turn them into two or three, and that would just do me. So the camera which I've switched to, and the camera which is probably one of the most hated cameras of 2019, is a mirrorless camera. And after a lot of thought about switching over to another brand, the reason which has kept me with Canon is because I just love their menu systems, their ease of use, their color science, the autofocus is great, and they've always just been so reliable. I've never had an issue yet with a Canon camera, and I've been shooting with Canon since day one. So I think that's a pretty good track record, and one that I'm really happy with. So I think I've put this off long enough, so I'm just gonna share with you now what camera it is that I've switched over to. I'm ready for the gasps as I reveal this. The camera system which I've switched over to is the Canon EOS RP. That's right. Now you could probably see why I said it's one of the most hated cameras of the year. 
Now I've been shooting with this camera now for a week and honestly, it is brilliant for photography. Now I haven't even shot any video with this camera yet and this is mainly what's got all the bad press um, for the camera is that it shoots 4K but then you've got the contrast based autofocus which I haven't tried personally but has been given a lot of bad uh, press because it's not very good and you can't keep the focus very good. Also you've got the crop on top of that and then it got it got bashed because it didn't have 24 frames per second in 1080p. These are all video issues though, and the only reason that I've bought this camera, the only, is for photography. It's access to the great range of new RF lenses which Canon are bringing out. And honestly, the lens which I've got for this, the 24 through to 105, is by far the best lens that I've photographed with to date incredibly sharp images and it works alongside this camera perfectly. Also another fantastic thing about that lens is the optical stabilization. You can shoot down at about 1 over 15 which I know some of the Olympus guys watching this might think well that's not that incredible but coming from a camera with no stabilization built in the lenses that Canon are bringing out, the new RF lenses, are really incredible and before I had to shoot at 1 over 125 with my 80D and my other lenses, but now I can just bring down that shutter speed, which really helps in a lot of different situations. But this camera, for me, was all about the photography. How could I get access into the full frame world without spending lots and lots of money? And I'm actually going to be buying another two cameras uh, very soon. And I was very aware if I was to move up to the Canon EOS R or the 5D Mark IV, that I would be spending a lot more money and I probably wouldn't have the money to be getting other cameras on top of this. So this seemed like a logical decision. The very final thing that swung it for me though, because I was very tempted to get the Canon EOS R, which is the one up from the RP, the very thing that swung it for me was, in the end, a review that Ken Rockwell, a guy which I really respect who has been reviewing cameras, lenses, and camera systems for many, many years now. And I, I would guess a lot of you know this guy. But he did a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison on the EOS R and the EOS RP. And he said that really the difference was so minimal between the two. Of course, you've got a few features, extra features on the EOS R because it's over a thousand pound more than the EOS RP. But when he compared them side by side, I think he gave it something like an 84 against 82 for image quality. And when you compare the, just the two points in that, it's definitely not worth spending a thousand pound. He also said that the EOS RP is definitely nicer to hold and it feels more balanced when using it. And that's one of the things about this camera so far, which I can say I absolutely love. For such a small camera, it's actually got a bit of weight to it, but it's still very lightweight compared to the 80D. But it just feels so balanced and really nice to use in the hand. And everything I've done with it so far, it just really feels like it was the right decision to make. Okay guys, so that's it. I'm happy I've been able to share this with you today. And you know, I hope you're gonna be looking forward to lots of landscape photography vlogs and different kind of videos, which are gonna be shot with the Canon EOS RP. So you're gonna to get to see lots of photography with this camera coming up and the range of hourglass lenses which I will be using alongside with it. Really excited about the future of using this and sharing it with you. If this is your first time arriving on the channel and you liked this video, then please check out more videos and of course hit subscribe and the notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, that would be brilliant. And if you've got any opinions about this camera or anything you want to share, then just leave a comment down in the comment section below. Whatever you do, guys, for the rest of the day, make sure it's a great one, and I'll see you in the next video.